Today I'm going to be talking about our Mixed Ability Asymmetric Multiplayer game. The goal is for the first player, the phone player, to go around the map, activate green walls, for player 2 to hear the alarm locations, go to them, activate them, and change the purple wall locations. And then both of them find the exit. Here's a quick demo showing me and my group mate playing. How exactly did that work? Well, uh, for starters, the blind player can't see, but he can use a controller and he can press triangle at any time to hear the exit. He can move around. When he hits walls, he hears specific sounds according to the wall. And he can, when he reaches alarms, by the first player activating an alarm like he just did, he can go to that location and then press X to activate that wall. So that's what he'll do. He'll go there, he'll hear the sound that he's on the correct alarm area, and then when he decides to, he can press X or whatever the mouse pad south button is and activate a wall. He'll get an audio cue for that as well. Then he can exit off the platform to stop hearing that sound and press the triangle or north button on his gamepad to hear the beep for the exit. So, recapping, these are the controls. For the player with the controller, X or uh, nor uh, south button for the purple walls, triangle or north button for the sound signal at any time, moving with the left joystick. For the Android player, tilt the phone to the side and scroll your finger and it'll follow your finger's movement. Now a quick look at the sounds. Directional alarm sound. The alarm area sound. The activating alarm sound. The beep sound. The exit for P2. Hitting an orange wall. Hitting a green wall. Hitting a purple wall. All these are only for player two. So when you hit corners, you can hear two sounds at the same time. And the main issue with walls was that it's directional, but since the sound comes from the middle of the walls on long walls, it doesn't always look or sound well. Levels were heavily simplified. The levels were all designed on paper, but some of them uh, actually ended up being designed on Unity itself. And these are the final maps. Thank you for watching.